Yo, that was very awkward. I was having this conversation with my parents saying how I'm very awkward in front of the camera and um, yeah, that's me. Anyway, today's video is a favorites video and I've been really wanting to make this video since I came back on my channel because between my break, I did a lot of shopping and I bought a lot of things. So, and I, grown to like a lot of things. You will notice that most of the things that are in this video I bought when I went on my cottage trip, which um, is on my vlog channel. So I will have the link in the description. This is what I mean by awkward, awkward, fully on awkward. So yes, I will now start showing you my favorite things in an awkward fashion. Actually, the first thing, the first thing I wanted to mention was the outfit that I'm actually wearing. My sister got me this from like this charity stall when we went um, into the countryside. It was absolutely gorgeous, by the way. I loved it all because it was also cheap. Got these cute little frills on it. it. Has like little sailors anchors, and it's adorable and great for the weather because England had a flipping heat wave, and I am not used to that weather. Okay, I will burn to death. I don't have a middle temperature either. It's like when it's winter, I'm cold. And when it's summer, I'm too warm. My middle is really just spring, but spring in England this year was literally snow. So I can't win, can I? Um, so yeah, I love this and it helps with the weather because I woke up this morning and I was boiling as heck because it's just too warm to function or do anything. Okay, the next thing is an item of clothing that my mum got me not too long ago. I remember she just came in. She'd been to like, I think it was new look or select i can't remember probably select and she'd gotten me like this cute little shirt just says brooklyn on it and it has like the american flag and it's adorable and again it's good for light weather and it's just it's just lovely i mean i wouldn't usually wear black like in this kind of style but i just love the way that it's like very american it is something that i would wear i feel like i would have worn this when i was about 10 years old by the way my style changed a lot between the ages of 10 and 12. when i was 10 i would just wear the most random things i probably would have loved this to be honest the next thing is this hat i have been wearing this a lot in my vlogs if you've seen my vlogs um it just says mu on it monster university this was in my disney collection because this obviously is disney because it's like monsters and kind of thing i got this when i went to disney world i remember it was so cute i found it in the store i was like i have to have this because i'm gonna regret it if i don't buy it so i bought it and it's lovely and i wear it all the time and my favorite color is blue so and i have a lot of blue clothing so this goes quite a lot well with all my clothes I feel like I'm just rambling on, probably am, we should move on. The next thing, I, I should also warn you, this video probably won't be that long, surprisingly. The next thing is some of my bows that I got from Claire's. I, like Claire's accessories probably think, oh my God, that's for children. Well, I am a child, technically, um, slash teenager. <laughs> um, and I found some bows in there and with my short hair, I've been wanting to do more stuff with it. So I was like, I really wanna buy some bows. I lost the packets of bows. I don't know where they've gone, but I remember I pinned one to my bag so I, that's why the bag came hauling in. Um, it's like this cute little pink polka dot bow and it reminds me of like the 1940s. How adorable they are. They just go in your hair and they're so cute. It makes me feel like a five year old again, which is a really, really good feeling. Um, the next thing, as I like to call it, is a very big thing that I need, even though it's really tiny. Um, my sister bought the Revolution um, concealer. It's like a color correcting concealer, but the strange thing thing is, is that even though it's color, color correcting, it came in different shades. So we got white and I can actually use it. This, this is how flipping pale I am. This is, I can just use this for just regular concealer. It literally looks like I'm about to put on face paint or sun cream. I'm not, I'm just very, very pale. So thank you, Lucy, for getting this because this has helped me too. Okay, the next thing I have been dying to show in a main channel video. I've shown it a lot on my vlog channel, but I haven't in a main channel video and I really wanted to because as soon as I got it, I was like, that my girl. Um, basically, there's a website called Redbubble where people can post their own like art and stuff and they can sell it on different things. And someone made like a like the Jughead crown from Riverdale on this gray jumper, like, you know, Betty's outfit. If you've watched Riverdale, you know what I mean. Um, so I got it and it's so adorable. And I, this is like one of my coziest jumpers. Redbubble make amazing like flipping clothing. Like this is just bloody amazing. And it's, it's lovely. It's just like, it's kind of different. Just walking around in my boots. Looked great. <laughs> Point is I really like that one and I'm kind of obsessed with it and I wear it all the time. <laughs> Knowing me, this is kind of a shirt that I will wear when I'm like, curling up on the sofa, cup of tea, watching the Bake Off. Oh my God. 
I didn't think I could get more British, but I just did. Okay. The next thing is something that helped with the travel to um, the cottage because it was a two hour 30 journey, I think. And that's a big thing for me. I'm not good with road travel at all. I get quite panicky. So this really helped because it's like this lavender spray, like, and it is meant for like sleeping. It also helps with sleeping, but it also helps with like calming me down, just the scent of it. So I brought it with me. It helped a lot. So I wanted to put it in this month's favorites because it's helped me a lot. Also, I just need to tell you that this month I tried Earl Grey tea. Um, I was so sad that I didn't like it. Genuinely upset me. <laughs> so I really wanted to like it because everyone always talks about Earl Grey being really calming and nice and I tried it. Oh my God. It tasted like a bath bomb. Okay. The next thing is one thing that I got from a market stall when we're in the countryside again. And this was like 13 pounds or something. Honestly, I've never seen anything designed like this. Like it's a cardigan with these cute little sleeves and it's like pastel blue. I, it was between pastel blue and pastel yellow for me because I love the two colors, but I ended up picking blue because you know. But yeah, the sleeves are adorable. It pretty much, it's really comfy to throw on because in summer you can get either quite chilly or quite warm, but when you get chilly, throw this on. Your life problems are fixed. <laughs> so yeah, I, I really like this and it's just so nice. Something else that I want to mention of something that I've tried and has been really helping, I do it once a day, is meditation. I know that kind of sounds like something that some people wouldn't do, but even if you don't have anxiety, it's really good to meditate. Like I have been doing it every single day before I study. Um, so I don't get stressed or anything and it really really works um, I've been using a few apps for like self meditation because it's really difficult to get into that zone So when you have someone talking you through it on an app or on a YouTube video It's just so much easier and I tried that and I felt instantly calm I, I just I went like like deep into a mental state of mind that I could pull myself out of and suddenly, because I've focused on my breathing so much that I'm suddenly really calm. So I wanted to mention meditation because it really has helped a lot. But it, it deserved a mention in my favorites because I've been doing it a lot and it's been really good. We've got a big one. The last thing is my guitar. I've had this guitar for about five years and my dad's been the one that's used it because he has a guitar and he wanted to get me one when I was about, I don't know, eight. Uh, when I was about eight years old, but I could never get the grip of it because I could never like I wasn't really good at memorizing different chords I wasn't good at anything like instruments, but then I decided I need some more hobbies So I was like dad. I really want to learn how to play guitar So I'm trying to teach myself and I think if, if I'm honest, I'm, I'm doing okay I think I'm doing okay. I've learned a few songs already But it's, I think the hardest bit for me is like switching between chords like it's really difficult But yeah, this is my guitar. It's lovely. I act I act remember my first guitar ever my dad got me a really small pink one when I was about six so I really like this one it makes me feel really professional who knew I would ever play a musical instrument but I really want to learn how to because guitar is just so nice okay so that is all I have to show you for my favorites video I, I, I did really well to film this today because originally I was like I really want to curl my hair but then I was like whatever leave it straight so I will see you in my next video bye